Now, I invite you to treat him even much better than you have done. You know, it shouldn't be the same. Uh, it can be better. You know, it's been a learning and unlearning process between us. There's a time for everything. There's a place to, to, be, a bit, to be a bit calm and look Nabanja in the face and say, can you give us Chibalama? And um, after a while, that voice will be a lot higher. If he wishes, he will uh, advise you on what was contained in what I handed over to him. Uh, probably I will give a little peek when you got the bottle. Wish you this way. Wish you good luck. Thank you. 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 Thank Yes. is that you continue to render the same support to the incoming cabinet, especially to the incoming minister of information and anti-corruption, the Honorable uh, Helen Nachimoli, who is not here today, uh, because she's a bit unwell, I will be with her all the way, and I expect that the same way you have treated me, in the same way you will treat her, the same way you have treated the leader of your position, the outgoing leader of your position, is the same way you will treat the incoming leader of your position, as well as the incoming cabinet. Would like to thank you once again, and at this juncture, I would like to welcome the outgoing leader of the opposition, who has already done the symbolic handover in office, for those of you who were there, and then he will be uh, inviting the leader of the opposition uh, to speak to us. Thank you so much. We hope to continue working with you. Thank you, the Honorable you did not tell your friends that now you've been the committee of government assurance who I should be inviting them to to also join you good morning everyone I would like to welcome you to this official handover ceremony the official Dome of Parliament was handled yesterday in the plenary and therefore this is symbolic for us as the opposition I'd like to welcome my successor in office the Right Honorable Joel Senyonyi Besekezi this morning taking over the Lopez docket officially you're welcome sir and congratulations in the same breath I'd like to congratulate most sincerely all of us here were given different appointments we have people crossing over from one dog to another. But before that, I'd like to appreciate everyone that has journeyed with us over the last two and a half years. I have uh, worked with you, the media, for this great detail, in and outside the parliament, in the field, in the trenches, You've been immense. I want to thank you most sincerely for the cooperation. I, want, I would like to disagree with Honorable Joyce when he says that uh, 
She wants you to treat Tawna with Joel the way he for treated me. Now he invites you to treat him even much better than he have done. You know, it shouldn't be the same. Uh, it can be better. You know, it's been a learning and unlearning process between us. And um, I'm very sure we have learned a lot from each other. As the eyes of the public, you have done your best to ensure that what we do reaches the public and it attracts public scrutiny. I want to thank you most sincerely. I would like to thank the team I've worked with in the cabinet. You know, for us here, it's been work, work and work. It's been intense. And people have been there. I want to thank my team. I want to thank um, the Chief Whip in absentia for his ever presence in our work. We have um, worked together for this time and been able to, to give the public what we thought we could do in the circumstances. I'm very sure some of you have covered Parliament for more than 10 years. You've not seen this happen. I've been here for 13 years. I've not seen this happen. We shall not go into the whys, but we are doing it. And I think it's a day all of us should really uh, be celebrating that the opposition is able to transition and there will be no drama. I have a sense that people did expect drama here. We're not dramatic. We are serious about what we do. And we are going to continue doing it seriously and even more seriously. I am very happy that with my team, we've been able to lay the foundation. Uh, the honor with Joel Senyunyi is not beginning from uh, nowhere, but somewhere. I'd like to ask of you to take on this mantle with the zeal and the capabilities I'm sure you, 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 you bear. It is doable. It's not impossible. The team here has been reshuffled. You have new members and old members. But I will tell you that I know all my members, including those outside the cabinet. Take use of the party whips, because this platform is a six-party platform. I want to thank the party whips that have worked with us over the last two and a half years for whipping their members. Because being in the opposition is a choice. But a choice many find difficult to bear. And therefore, sometimes you've got to have some of your members stagger. Please focus on those who remain. Otherwise, um, these are adults. Sometimes they're going to make very unpleasant choices. But you are, you are their leader. You have to lead them. You have three categories of uh, members here. You have workers, you have talkers, and observers. It's up to you to find the best out of the workers. The workers need to be motivated to continue working. The tendency of the talkers is to appear to know what they don't know, but they do not do it. The observers are timid to do anything for fear of making mistakes. Encourage them to make mistakes, because if you don't want to make a mistake, then do nothing. The mistakes we have made here is because we've been trying to do something, and not personal, but for the good of the duty to which we were called. So please, of those three, maybe we even find a fourth category, but at least I've observed the three. <laughs> find a way of, uh, uh, of working all the other categories as you'll discover further. They are very talented people here, extremely talented people. Give them a chance to work, dedicate to them where possible. I'm very sure they will deliver. I want to thank the technical team we've worked with from day one. Um, Jackie is the senior here. Peter Busiku in absentia. Um, for your information, right honorable, Rob, the team leader in our department was voted employee over the year in parliament, meaning that um, we've been doing something here 
which everybody recognized. Uh, therefore, you have a very potent team here to work with. Um, they're very zealous of working. Um, but most importantly, even when you face challenges like they'll happen, at the back of your mind, don't forget the fact that uh, one, we have a young party to build, two, we have a nation to save from going to the abyss. And therefore, that should keep you steady even when you face challenges. The challenges you'll face are not insurmountable. You'll be able to find a way around them because I trust you have the capability to overcome some of these challenges, including uh, so many man-made challenges that are going to find. I want to encourage you to work with the media. The media is now more proliferated. Whoever has uh, a phone with a camera is a media person. But the people here are more structured. I want to encourage you to work with them. Not be diverted by the alternative media without an editor. Uh, you can't track who they are, but they're everywhere. Be alive to the destructions from within, including from people who are supposed to back you up. You know, need to have the strength to work with the people who are supposed to back you up, but instead choose to backstab you. Be strong. There's a job to do for the party, for the country, for history. I know you'll be capable of doing that. I want to wish you the best. And uh, most importantly, thank everyone here who have worked with. I want to assure you, we are still around. Do the job we were set to do. We're still doing it. And um, you'll see us working. No doubt about that. Thank you so much. May God bless you and protect you. Wish you the best in your service. Over to you. Echigambo Commission, asume wa china yechi Uganda. Eh, kamisona. So, leader of the opposition, mukama from parliament. Enche alero kwa siza office mbotongole. Ne wakwa de emikolo. Ejiri mumateka jia kuri dwa mparlament unakula jo. Chikuru nyo. Okubanti na chino tuchikola Ense tegele Nti vietuliko Vietukola sivi ajita muluja Ekisoka Nti tuina uvuna nizivwa Obokula ganti Obokule mbeze Bukolevwa atevu soboka Echoku bili Nti wali umuomu limo ugukola Tosula ugukola weka Echoku satu Ndi obu inza wibuwa wichuse tekabe ya katuba giro Oba kalega bicha Ya usiga tutambula Kupanga bitukola Sibi ya mutunti ya tambula na vyo monsa woye Nore chencha ya lero Tuwa kalo kuyo zaeza Okuwa suwa vuna nizvobo Ano kusuliza nti tujia kukuwa atilako Okulaba nti vuna nizvobo Okutu ukeleza Yana nja kutuwa lomukisaguno Okuwa za Tia mujia nko zina yo Mparlament the shadow ministers, the committee chairpersons, the whips, the number of people in the area who are making a bit of a lot of opposition. Opposition is so much more than just a couple of people. Ah, every time we have a lot of people, we have a lot of people who are not going to be able to get together. Walau lawas anti kalau kita gede atau kita nak keluar bangai cuk, nengi lagi ego, usikal lo tambla, no kuna nengi usikal deh, orang itu wa boleh lihat deh, si boleh anggu, nengi busukoka, o kuma position nengi ruam, no usikal aku mula mua, tu ke menteri ruam meme ngalu wa abu 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 deh kuma gendo. Kwanga iyembera yeyo wofuzi na wanda yeyo wofuzi. Yeyo fa yeyo mwana wamuntu yeyo zewe tambla. Njala kwe baza team yaba kugu bitu bali tukola na bo. Tekniko team aba kulembera mwami pita busiku. Atali wanolo alero ne michele jacky wali 
Hapa tukuzo bulu nji nyo nga tukole mili mojino Okuyamba timu ya fe Tufurumiza ebi wandiko Ufule ya parliament Wawelu wa parliament Chuba demo field Nga tukole mili motulo ondola Hapa ntua wa wabade bulu nji nyo Bajia kuyamba Bajia kuyamba kuyamba Kula bante wafutukiza bulu nji Ufuna nji wabu Ila njira kusaba Nti Ufuna ebi kusomo wazabiyo na Nyoe ila Enyo ila yelima Munuwa kutuwe kutuwe nyokola simutono Ate sobo kutu ukiriza Ngutu kule mbedemu Sina kukusabu santu jagenda maso Ate no kusomo za tukujia kufawo Bovoti ya kusomo za wa Njokuwa bantu wa magizi Bovoti ya kusomo za Ugena notunda ice cream Otunda woli yako Wawome wa Eee Boa, 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 Kata soa na kwe tansiri Walua na wachi okuwa kwa chiba kula Kwa wachi okole nsobi Awo na weta agoba tegi Jaku zuna yu na hibike vila Na hii awa wasa tube nsobi Do kwe tegi lize nyake vili neji tundu Uwe wali wano Sika amba wana watu do wano Na hii wano mpala ni kwe wali Ofune mba vubuli omumu jemo omulimo Tusuguro kubanga tukizo wafuna njizu wafuno Njala kuwa za Aba mauli ya mwena Aba tambo lena faka sela kano Tupate tusangi wizibu na hivi yangu Na hivi chino nji Tetujanga uo mpuli rizo Na hivi tuwa situ kanyiza tusigala tuwa uliziganya Okutusa wituka kujitofu Ndozo ula mbubu tambula uwebutio Yona yona jiu tambuli ya monsi Musa nga wiva somoza Na wabila uo kutakanya Na wabila uo Banaka muante te Aburi ya njini toka ikumpi ya uloza Nti ya ulimo ulusuku So na ye Empulizi kenya kweta vao Ovuna nzibwa Butambula Sibu njela kuwa galizo uweli za uvulonji Ate Notukule mbelo uvulonji Ili kusomo zanga uwebidi Uwetuli Ukutambula na uwe mologendo Ulogendo tutambizamu Kubanga lunene Lusinga fena Abantu sechinomu Mwe wale nyo Katonda wakumi Sebo, toku vye nyo kufika vidye visa tu I want to thank you Sir, the right honorable Mathias Mpuga And the rest of the team Once again to thank you for your service and you steering us through the time that uh, you have steered us and the team the very able team that uh, you have been working with you have laid a good foundation upon which we shall build together continuously to see that uh, the work that ought to be done gets to be done i want to appreciate um, the shadow cabinet that's been working with the right honorable mpuga for your dedication uh, every so often I would come for some of the meetings whenever I wasn't busy with Kosase and I could see a lot of work going on so I want to appreciate the entire team and as he has appreciated the technical team as well they, they do the technical backstopping, they do the heavy lifting and I uh, want to appreciate you my hope is that we shall continuously work together very well uh, I saw the Honorable Helen Nachimuli coming in. You're welcome. She's our incoming uh, Minister for Information and Anti-Corruption. Akagambako, <laughs> Joyce Bagala had the way she would say it. While everybody would say anti-corruption, she would say anti-corruption. Akagambakali. <laughs> they should make the office really very powerful and serious. So... <laughs> She's walking in on crutches, not too well, but I uh, welcome her. I believe she will be very ably along the way, be doing an incredible job. I, I want to welcome the team that um, we're going to be working with. Most of them have been a part of the team. Um, others might not necessarily be on the shadow cabinet, but um, they are leaders, members of parliament in the opposition. 
I've been trying to understand, as having a chat with uh, the Right Honorable Mpuga, and I'm saying there seems to be a lot of excitement about this particular change of leadership, this particular transition. And really, it dawned on me that uh, the excitement is because Ugandans rarely see a peaceful change of guard. Rarely does it happen. You know, normally there's pulling of ropes here and there, and then there's places where it has not even happened at all. And, and so that's why maybe there's a bit of excitement. So it should be a good thing that um, we are sending a signal that it is possible. It's possible that leadership can change and stability continues to prevail. Uh, we hope that some people will pick a leaf and others the whole tree. To my colleagues, um, the people of Uganda have a lot of hope in us. I see that in the way they pay attention to the work that we do. I see that in the way they critique us because they, they don't expect us to goof up. You know, maybe there are people who, when they goof up, it's okay. But for us, they hold us to a higher standard. Uh, and so I want to encourage colleagues, please don't take offense when people hold us by a very high standard and put a lot of focus on the work that we do, criticizing us every so often. For me, that's a vote of confidence. And so it should encourage you, colleagues, as opposed to you feeling denigrated and downtrodden. No, that should encourage you. That means that people have a lot of hope in us. They expect better from us. And I want to appeal to us, let's do exactly that. Let's, let's show them the way. Let's be their voice. Ugandans <coughs> grapple with one challenge too many. They are out there with issues that are of concern to them. They hear of the corruption. You know, they hear of the public debt that has gone through the roof and continues to grow. And yet with this growing public debt, they don't see how it's reflected in service delivery. They see the poor roads on which they drive. They see the state of health care. They see the state of education. The young people who some have gone to school and they're out there jobless, they, they don't have opportunities working for them. Business people whose businesses are crumbling. Why? Because the, the cost of production is too high. Everything is problematic. These Ugandans, are looking to you and I to be their voice, to offer leadership. They know there is a government somewhere, but they know that that government does not care so much for them. That's why they behave the way they do. And so they look to you. And um, my hope is that we shall not let those people down, that we shall speak out for them, that we shall put emphasis on the issues that concern them. Some of them I have raised. We have been through and continue uh, with the issue of human rights violations. Ugandans want justice. And they are counting on you and I to be their voice for that justice. People lost their loved ones through the election period. Many others are in jail. The Olivia Lutayas of this world, uh, the Machetes, Rashid Sebu, Jasanya, several others, those are just but a few. Some up to four years, and their cases have not kicked off at all. And they're looking to you and I to be their voice. There are Ugandans that were disappeared. They were picked up by the regime, and nobody knows their whereabouts for four plus years. Their families are continuously in groaning, but they do have hope when they see us pay attention to these issues, when we continue to put emphasis on these matters. My hope is that... Um, we shall only engage a higher gear in these issues for the sake of the people that we represent. Nate, Jagalo Kudamu, Okwebaza, Mpuga, Ruku Lembezewe, Mukasera Akazibu, Naye Asiga Denga to Kuma Akuma, Okolejo, Chetusani Dokola, Jagalo Kwebaza team, Java Da Kola Nayo, Shadow Cabinet. Uruwe kui wayo, technical team, banama ulile, atimu banama ulile, mweze indichari wa mwe. <laughs> <laughs> Kakati zendio muku mwe, <laughs> edani nesu uvi nti tuja sigalanga tutambuli za dala wa mu, ukua saganya ensonga zino. Atuwa boli ya walo munama ulile yanku vya kama nangamba, eh, 
Nika timpuli da vibe yange yonge de kubanga. Olabo va mu newsroom. No jeno jole. Chitegeza nange chiso woke la dala. Atena zijuki zanti. Atego watandi kila kudala. Edia wansi kuunze. Edia indi komu media. Ningamba ha. Na hii tuwaka loku bebaza. Uloku uh, sigalanga. Muteka ya malobo uziga fe. Kusongeze nja ulo. Njaga la. Okuwa niliza team. Dengi ndo kubanga. Nkola na yo. Haba singa. Baba deo mbifebi enja ulo. Na ye, ina tu inaneba nafe inga taina chifogoli ya umshado kabine toba kukomiti. Na inga mbaka wa parlamenti. Muna ngo veda mkule mbeze. Ilanga nile subi intitujia tambuli la wamu. Kumusonga zino. Bana Uganda muna yeba tu inamu nye subi. Nyo njini dala. Chovudola bensanji zino. Batu kubamu nyo tochi. Ebi intu vetu kula babi kubiri la nyo. Ila chiba angu ilo kula banti kakati ati chinunga mchikoze bubi, chinunga ati chitambu debu lunji. Muna ange, bana Uganda, insonga zinu wazo ogira ko. Tetu njiga. Infakte chuchina tusu za amu maanyi, ndi batu ina mwe subi. Nsuele kwa gala ya kukwa kubwa. Batu ina mwe subi. Bama nyitu waliyo government somewhere, ya, na ye tebafa ko, tefa kunsonga za we. Kakati fe, beba ina mwe subi. Oboli yao, ye insonga luachi. Ulu si baga manti na ika kakati wachi mkoze chino Ni batu nyigira muko Kakati fejo china tuza amu manji Tia bantu bano Batu inamu nye suvi Ilati tu inakutende walidwa Njaga la basa banti Tukulida awamu Kuluwe suvi di haba na Uganda Li batu inamu Banda Uganda ba inevi nitu vinje viva nyigidiza Viti divu Bage nane batu nulida Embeda yevye nsimbi Embeda yevye nfuna Ngabali bubi Batu nulida esente Zetu wangi wangi wanga Public date Ze yongira bulirucha Na hati esente ezo Tebazire wa service delivery Batu nulida ngudu ze batu ambuli dako Nibala wa maluwa alido Tiba gendo kufuno uji anjabi Ama someje batu wala habana wabwe Neso ngeenda leze nja ulo Kapa gama na hiru wachi Tuliwe tu Tiba na Uganda abo Batu ina mwesubyo Kupeda malobo ziga habwe Baina vinje viva njigidiza. Tuwava mkalulu. Haba ntubatibwa. Haba mbasi vivwa. Mbali yu makumira haba Olivia Lutaya. Na haba laba itilivu. Miaka kachaba mba gena mwesa tuwena. Emisango jawe tejita andika anga. Baga la kwenkanya. Batu ina mwesubi okubira malobo zigawe. Walu haba laba abu zivuwa o. Nisongezo tuziva deko. Titugenda kuziva akono umulundi no gumu. Ilanga banda Uganda bano. Batu ina mwesubi. Okusiga langa tuyi mwesa malobo zigawe. Oksiga langa Ensongeze simba Tetuzivako Chibagalo kutulabamu Sonyagalo bako viliza Tukolera wamu Pana Uganda Beda be mufi Nga fema lobo ziga abwe Nga futubachi ikirida Ensongeze baluma Nga ate tuzisoso wazanyo Zenile subi intitujia tambula bulunji Awamu Muna inze siri mufuzi ni mkule mbeze Ate chidunja abantu wei kule mbeza na oba kule mbeze. So, chidja tu ya amba. Ukwa saganya insonga zino fena wa mu. Mweba le nyo. Mweba le le dala. Thank you very much. We would like to appreciate the leader of your position. At the moment, if any member of the media has a question, it's the time to ask the questions. If you don't have the questions, we would like to go into the last... Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe I'll respond first in English and do Luganda. Issues of concern. I did um, hint on this, and um, I will re say what I said earlier on. The, the issues that we have been focused on that are important are not going to stop. If anything, we just want to engage a higher gear. By the time we broke off, we were following up on the issue of missing persons. And at that time, there was a meeting between the Speaker, uh, the Right Honorable Martha Simpuga, and Madame Maria Mwangada, Wangadia, the Human Rights Commission chairperson. Unfortunately, she came alone for the meeting, and she was told, look, you are not the commission. You're simply its chairperson. We wanted to show up with the entire commission. Parliament had resolved that there gets to be a thorough inquiry into the question of missing persons. And uh, we are going to raise that reminder to Parliament because it's a resolution that was passed.
to say that that inquiry should happen and should happen soon. Because you see, if this issue of missing persons is left the way it is, that means government will take it that this is a tactic we can deploy and they'll do it again. So we want that it becomes very risky for them to try this tactic again on people who are opposed to the regime. And that's why we are going to insist and get to the bottom of this issue. Because while, yes, we'll be handling all these other issues, now we are dealing with the budget framework paper and so on, and all those are important aspects to handle, life is even more important. Because who are you budgeting for if the people you are budgeting for doing all these different things are killed, they are missing, and, and so on and so forth. So, if anything, we're simply going to engage a higher gear. You also raised the question of, um, yes, um, how shall we make sure that uh, our members return? I'll tell you what. Our concern is not just us returning to the positions we occupy. We want to take government. Yes. We want to take government um, and want to continuously sample Ugandans and show them that we have got what it takes to lead this country. Some in the past were in doubt. Slowly but surely, they begin to realize that these people have got what it takes. And we'll continue to show that. That, look, we are a credible alternative and we have got what it takes. So, besides just us retaining our seats, we want to take government. We don't want to be in opposition forever. Ali asked about Madame Wangadia, saying uh, the question of missing persons is a hoax. I... I'm hoping one of these days I'll be in a meeting where Madame Maria Mwangadia is. I want to first understand this person properly. You know, sometimes we judge people before we fully understand them, yeah? And to have an opportunity to fully understand her as a person, her challenges, her idiosyncrasies as an individual, things, things about her generally. Because today she says this, tomorrow she says another thing, issues that are not coordinated, so... I, I don't know. I don't know what the problem is with her, but I'm hoping I'll have an opportunity soon to have an understanding of her. Not long ago, she actually said that um, she even fears to sit in her own meetings, commission meetings, because while she is there, some of her commissioners are carrying guns, and so she, she lives in fear. So I don't know whether this living in fear is what destabilizes her as an individual. She might be going through a lot of trauma, so when you're traumatized, you say many uncoordinated things. Because she's the one who said that, that some of the commission meetings, some commissioners are holding guns. So this is a traumatized lady, you know, and, and maybe she, she needs to inform her appointing authority, I, I need to go somewhere to be rehabilitated. I don't know. Yeah, but uh, hopefully I'll get to understand her. Because, again, even in the report that they outed, they did concede that some people are missing. Okay, others on whom they didn't concede is because they've not taken trouble to dig deeper. Now the same person says that today, another time she's saying, ah, these things are hoax and so on. Hopefully we'll understand the woman fully. Uh, Ali Mivule also asked about the Honorable Zake's position. Not everything will be in the law books. For our own ease of doing work, they are responsibilities that we create and so the office of the deputy chief opposition whip by the way has not just started it was there even in the last parliament it's not within the rules but it was created to ease work uh, to lessen the load on the chief opposition whip for work to continue happening it was an internal creation uh, it was an internal creation by the opposition and it is something we found fit to carry on and we'll carry on with that responsibility. So yes, it might not be known within the structures of parliament, that's okay, but we created the responsibility, and the same way we might create a few other responsibilities to say, so and so help us with this situation, uh, so that work gets to move. So that's the idea. It might not, yes, be one of those prescribed within the rules and so on, but it was created by our predecessors, and we found it important to keep that position and uh, we believe that the Honorable Zake will help us with that responsibility. Topista asked, um, going to be carrying a thermometer or a stepometer. 
every day to establish, you know, so now today where is your temperature? Is it still in red, blue, green, or has it gone to yellow? Or I don't know what. These are leaders, the others. Uh, we keep saying we shall know people by, by their actions, by their fruits. What's important is that we keep doing the work that we ought to do. Look, not everybody will stay the course. And again, it's important to, to have that at the back of our minds, yeah? I am lead of opposition now, but you see, there have been leaders in the past and they were grappling with similar challenges and even outside in their parties. A number of the ministers serving in cabinet today were opposition fellows. They crossed. Did the world come to an end? Because you see, when you cross, the issues of concern to Ugandans don't go away. You know, when you cross over, Ugandans continue grappling with the challenges that they grapple with. So, by the way, even if Ugandans wake up and all of us leaders on this side have crossed over, new leadership will emerge because the issues that are of concern to Ugandans are still in place. Ronald uh, talked about Western Uganda coverage of opposition. And I'll be deploying those various tools as and when the need arises. There's a time to sit and ask questions and uh, engage. And we shall engage where, when that opportunity does arise. I mean, when we are in plenary, we are engaging. Yes, sometimes our voices will shoot up and so on, but we are engaging, asking questions, asking and demanding for accountability and so on. Uh, so there's a place for that. There's a place to ask calmly. There's a place to raise your voice when the demands you're making are taken lightly. You saw the Honorable Mpuga raise his voice at some point. You know, when government was saying, look, this question of missing persons, we have responded to it, we have no further response. I said, but wait a minute. The people are still missing. What do you mean you have no further response? So there's a time for everything. There's a place to, to, be, a bit, to be a bit calm and look Nabanja in the face and say, can you give us Chibarama? And um, after a while, that voice will be a lot higher because we are not going to stop making the demands that are important. Abana fe ababonge eno tujibadeko iranga tu genda jiva koko wanga abantu ba nuti ba nala bika wetu wakali la parliament yao parliament yaisa resolution gega matika katwa beri wakuno nyeleza inquiry Maria Mwangadi akulembeda Uganda Human Rights Commission yaja meeting next speaker na uchiti wa mpuga ichi wa mkisombi ya jaika ilana ategeze wanti sigwe kachiko wakakulembeda mkule mbezi tu wakalo jina kachiko kona Mulamidira Wako. Um Iranga in Songen to gain a jire made a co dala. Kwanga want to banu, but ya was it duao. So yes, Ngabut Kwasaganya be navy into Evidala, budget process Jetulimuka Kano, Navy Dala Bikulu, Kwanga, a minimum jino kwasaganiziwa, na ye at what we the simba in yo. Wovo is a budget about what ji siza bali mumbe dachi, baliwa nin songa in dala wezi to so Tuge nda kuongeza mugia. Kusonge no, eaba na Uganda, ababu ziwao. Nukupa njo wenkanya. Kusonga, eze nja ulo. I want to welcome the Honorable Audria. He's very smart in uh, red. <laughs> please, please give him a seat. You're very welcome, Honorable. Um, I, uh, it's okay. It's okay. You're very welcome. From Uganda. To Uganda, Romani, you. Honorable, you found we were making headway. I was now translating what I said. Mwengi, nilisa muka. Hizo kuba zeku sabachi kuchia, Honorable Mpu. Oke, jowa permission ya. Anyway, um, in songe ya yes, so koma o di tuna kola tuti o kulaba nti before we are fair, di abaka we are fair to be sigaza. Muna iti tuagala just to sigaza before we are fair. Tuagala kutua la wiyinza, bukule mbeze, bukuanga li. Chetuliko, tuagala kumeda mo opposition lubeleda. Ilaba na Uganda tujia sigaranga tubawako sampu Njimunangi 
ensonga zino tuzisobolira dalala government so oluju kwa saganya so no lwecho twagala government twagala chi twagala kutunyonyola twagala buyinza twagala chi tuchilala chonna twagala buyinza um ali yabuziza ku mchala maria muangadia agama anti ensonga ya abantu bana ababuzi bawo ensonga ya chiwani ngabwe nagambye nizo mukisansi kane muko maria muangadia ono njagala mutegeri na yengo omuntu tegeri obuzi bwaita mu yenga yiye na chikubanga olusa abantu obalaba ngabwo gere bintu bita kuatagana aizo kubanga munanga ina ebimusumbu wanga yiye bimu yabyogera ko kubanga yagama anti ne meetings ze za kachiko ka kulembera azitia abera mu omule ba commissioner abamu nga bayina zipisto kakati ayinzo kubanga ina trauma yengo omuntu nga yetaga oba kudabiriza kubakati olaba anti ali mukutya ne byayogera tebitegerekeka oba yetaga kubuda buda obachi na ye kakati musabiri icho mukiso mulungi ne mu reporter yawe je bafulumya ira bakiriza anti abantu bano babuzibwao bebata ayogera ko ngate bako na chimala okusima okutegeera ensonga zino mbuziba bwazo ensonga ye chifo cha honorable zake ekintu kino kya tandika mu parliament yeri iranga opposition basalonti waberewo deputy chief opposition whip ntine wa kubadde yes chizo obutabera mu mateka aga parliament ne waliwo uvunanyizwa boteka obukuyambe okwasaganya emirimu ejenja wulo so banna fe chifo kino bachitekawo ila na fene tugamba anti tucheta agira dala okutikula chief opposition wifu wafe emirimu obovu na izi obumu so yes chizo utabeira mu constitution obachi na echa ateke wawo okuyamba okudukanya emirimu ejenja ulo ila nga fetuchima nyinge eno nga fawa opposition ila nga tuchitua nga chifo cha ankizo nyo ilo voli yao neje tulaga tu inzo teka obovu na izi obula la kusonge zenja ulo tika wakati gundi tuyambe kuchino okutambuza Emili mujafe. Teopista ya buziza kubabaka ovoli yao. Hawa ina muemba liga. Hawa ntuma no bakule mbeze ateba ntuma kuru. <coughs> so sige na kubanga ntambula ne thamo metabuli kumachanche kingenti kakati. Mwa mudu mita oba stability mita oba chi. Nti kakati ochali red, blue, greeni. Oba muta nisoku ingi na muka yero. Uh, echo mkiso mulu unji nti wetuli. Eda tuja kwa saka nyovuna nizu wafe. Ati mwana Uganda njaga la kubagumia. Muna ngeti mutianga oli wavai na agama nti. Aka kati vinevintu. Wabi ya sutakwa wabi ya achimbi vude muze. Tu sejemba dendaga. Muse nsubi ze. It is okay. Siche chisoso kubira o. Bamini sabama vali mkabineti ya mwai musepe. Ama mbali mu opposition. Neva agenda. Insonge zinu mwana Uganda za sigala o. Ina mwana Uganda ba sigala kumula mwa. Neva mucha. Fenanga ba kule mbeze kusaidia eno. Ntu sa zedilo. Obukule mbezo huja muna nge huja kwe, kwe sohula yu. Kwa wange nsonge zilu mwaba na Uganda, tezini na vawo. Ronald, ya yu gede kwe sana Uganda, uh, I think I responded in English. Uh, kari, nyiza no chida munti, yes. Mitu ndibia kwa wange vya nja ulo, oboli ya mauli tegatu kaya ulu unji, uh, wabeda o bloke jeze zenja ulo, na ye, tuja sigala nga tukole chisoboka. Kutuka yu, ya yu lukwe wazo wechiti wa mpuga, haba deba talade kwa wanga. Kilanga vanda Uganda vala ba, tinai soko leke. Eduali leyo, edi ninge chiyumba chien koko, didi mu Uganda, nenga timu na didi mu Uganda. So, abantu ba ino sigalanga ba tegeira biche vigenda maso, uvitunde vidala. Ikise mba yo, kola. Ove ya, ya mpola mpola, ove yo kwa sag, ama anyi, ichibuli mungyogela ya fe. Mutulbox, jenina, muli mu, tools nyingi, ranja ziso holanga yo, weche itagisa. Wali waka seira, Ako kutula angabu tutolo kute kutula Kupala menti Nituwa ya muko nituwa uzebi buzo Ina nga uja vila waka seira ako Nga tunula nabanjo Uchiti wa maso mugame teneka kati omanyi Chibala mamu tuwe Mungeri ka inka yu nezika kamo wetyo Nira watu kaya echi seira Etobozi njaku liyo ngiza Difukile dalari ya muanguka Wango ulu sabantu vano Nisonga zetu ogera kubazi tuwala nga za kubala Atida munga za, za kusaga So Yes, wajabeda o Ichisera Na tuliba kakamu, ni wajabeda o Ichisera Tuongeze amalo bozi Kuluwe nso ongezo, ezidu mabanda Uganda Mweba lenye Honorable Joel Senyonyi Yeah, and ladies and gentlemen Members of the press, we've come to the end of this briefing But before we finally go 
Please allow me to introduce the new Shadow Minister for Information and Anti-Corruption, the Honorable uh, Helen Nachimoli. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Since I'm a newly wed, I should say, a new bride, I'm gole. I'm not going to say much. First of all, I want to thank my elder sister and my good friend Joyce Bagala for, for the good job. I commend her, and I know all of you know she has done well, and she's, I must say, the best. The, the shoes are really big for me to, <laughs> to, to fit in, but I know I'll fit in because I know she's going to support me. She's a good, a good sister of mine. I want to thank the outgoing LOP. You have done us wonders. And uh, we have learned a lot from you. I must say, I think I am what I am at this point, thanks to this gentleman, because he has taken me through a lot. I want to welcome the new LOP, Mr. Right Honorable, Joel Senyonyi. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me, I am his captain in volleyball, so I was <laughs> uh, my, my leader of opposition now, the Right Honorable Joe Senyonyi. We, we have hope and faith in you, and we believe you have come at the right time to serve Ugandans. I want to also congratulate the outgoing members of cabinet and the incoming for the work well done. Thank you so much. The press my new friends now. I am not your boss. I must say I'm your workmate now. I, I wish we, we work as a team for the better of this group and for Ugandans at large. I know, like I said, it may not be so easy, but there's nothing as easy as, no, there's nothing difficult. Everything is easy once you put your, yourself into it. And once you, you know, work as a team, please let us work as a team to make sure this cabinet gets to where it has to get to. Thank you so much. May God bless you. I, apparently, I am a bit disabled, but not unable. Yes. <laughs> I may not be able to do some of those things you think I may do. I may not run, but in a few weeks, I'll be up and running, and I hope we shall be able to work hand in hand. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless Uganda. And God bless Robert Chagulan Center.